Hi, this is Michelle from MinimaDesigns.com and I got so many great inquiries last week after I did my own site review that I wanted to share a few more little tips and tricks about how I modified my site. The biggest question by far was all about opt-ins. Now opt-ins are those areas on your site where you have your newsletter sign up form. I actually have two separate opt-in areas. I've got one on my homepage here and then when you go to the interior pages, I have another opt-in. Now you'll notice on the interior page, I've set my opt-in to be what we call sticky so that it stays at the top of the screen right below my navigation. That way, when I'm scrolling, you always see that. And I'll tell you, that's been really, really key to increasing conversions on my site. Now the other thing you might notice is that my input boxes are somewhat muted. They're not straight up white boxes. I like to make my opt-ins as elegant as possible. And so I like to make them blend with the site and not make them so glaring. So in this case, what I did was I made a tonal color, maybe just a couple shades darker than the background here. And then I added borders and something I like to do is to give the illusion of depth. You'll notice I'll use a one pixel to the left, one pixel to the top, a little bit darker and then one pixel to the bottom and one pixel to the right, just a little bit lighter. And that gives that illusion of a little bit of a beveled edge. Now I've actually set these up as two separate widget areas. One widget was already available to me in the parallax theme and the other widget I actually created in the functions file. And I'll share some of that code down below in the tutorial. So when I go into my widgets, you can see I've got the header newsletter area and that's the one that I added in the functions file. And in that widget area, I'm able to add my newsletter code. Then I utilized one of the widget areas that was already created for me in the Parallax Child theme for my homepage newsletter signup area. So they're actually two separate areas, two separate snippets of code. When you manipulate widgets and you're able to manipulate the functions file, you're able to have a lot more flexibility than you would if you use a plugin. And I'll tell you, I try to avoid using plugins as much as possible. The more plugins you have, the more site bloat you have, the longer it takes, the more functions you're calling. So I like to card code wherever possible so that I'm able to totally manipulate the outcome. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, come visit me at minimadesigns.com.